surely any 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 thinking person in a world that's so uh, dominated by talk of sustainability, the very form of farming that you're describing would be would get all the ticks. Now, so why is it so hard for you now? And, and what is it that's making it harder to farm in the way that you've always farmed? Just, just look at the global picture. Why are farmers in New Zealand protesting? Why are they protesting in the Netherlands? Why are they out in Canada? Look at what's happened in Sri Lanka and look what's happened in India. You know, this is a global problem. Don't forget, Neil. And everybody else that you'll need a farmer once, twice, or three times every single day. However, or wherever you live, you'll need a farmer. And if we don't support the industry that's producing the food to feed the people affordably and hopefully sustainably, seasonally, and in an inf- environmentally and regenerative way, um, we're in trouble. And we are sleepwalking into food shortages across the world. One example is when you see what happened in Sri Lanka. So Sri Lanka made the decision to go organic, you know, to stop all pesticides, to stop all artificial fertiliser. The place imploded and it's still in a massive mess. Everybody needs, you know, energy. Everybody needs fuel and that's food and that comes from the farmer. And when you take that power away from the people that are working the land to produce the food, you know, in however way you look at it, you're in bloody trouble. So we have to start to talk to governments, start to address the situation, because people are going to go hungry very, very soon. And for me, when you see what's happened in Sri Lanka, you have to take that as a very, very serious problem because when, when, that Gareth, be... Gareth, when you when you listen when you listen to what's being said or or, or when you see the agenda for cop 27 wh- how do you react to to the out there in the open discussed plans to reduce the scale of farming worldwide by about half what, what's your gut reaction to that well half the world's food is produced with artificial fertilizer so take Sri Lanka into example. When they took that away from them, people went hungry. Inflation went through the roof and people rioted because they were hungry. And there's, there's no other answer to anything. We have to start to listen to the people that are working the ground. When you put these laws and implications on farmers not to produce food, we're in trouble. And I think, you know, as society, we've got to start wasting less food. We've got to look at seasonal and uh, local and regenerative food chains. That's a definite, massive, massive um, bonus for us. But food security in the UK and, you know, if the government in in, in UK don't see it and see what's happening to the farmers um, and the pressure that we're under, because I, I feel, Neil, Mainstream media has absolutely kicked us and booted us and tarred us with an absolute horrible outlook for the future. We've got environmentalists that are blaming us for every single climate problem we've got. And we are not the problem. We are part of the solution, but we have to work together. We have to work together with governments, we have to work together with the general public. We have to be producing affordable, sustainable and seasonal food to feed our nation, you know, in a healthy manner. 